Good afternoon. This is Saj, your local Austin realtor. I'm actually here in Lucas, Texas today at Lakeview Downs. This community is nestled right next to Lake Levon in Lucas, Texas. Not far from the Walmart in Allen, Texas off of Bethany Drive and is not too far from Princeton either. But this is a great community if you want to live not too far out from everything. If you want your own acre site, which the homes here are all one acre home sites, and you want a lot of square footage for the money. So homes here are priced around $1 million or a little, little bit above 1 million at 1 1.2, 1.3. A house like this plan here is right around 1.1 million or less. So this model here is called the Kennedy model and it's about 4,000 square feet, five bedrooms. It offers plenty of space and has the most beautiful views looking downstairs. It's a very open concept floor plan. It has like everything. It's like loaded, this model, compared to what you would even think of uh, out here in Lucas for a million dollars. So just a little ways down the road, um, down Bethany Drive, turns into a nice country style road and there's a lot of trees not a lot of population here um, you have your own privacy on this through the home sites here I'm going to show you through the window here in the game room kind of what it looks like so you can get a picture of how big these home sites are how big this one acre it really is so let's go ahead and take a tour of this house we're going to start upstairs and make our way down all right, we are here in the game room, and as promised, we're gonna take a quick look outside the window here. Kinda of give you an idea of these backyard sizes. Um, even this house is, is on a massive lot itself. This game room is huge. Like, you can do so much with this game room. The builder actually put a real TV there. A lot of them use a fake TV. Right next to the game room is a bedroom here. This will give you a good idea of how your kids' bedrooms will look like square footage wise. This room has one window and a standard walk-in closet. Take a look at this carpet here. Um, it's a very high quality design. This bedroom has like a full bath right next to it. This is perfect for access from the game room. Right here, we have a bridge. I like to call these bridges. You know, it kind of goes across in between the front of the home where the chandelier is and the living room here, and how open to blow this is in the Kennedy plan. You can see downstairs the kitchen, dining room. The ceilings are tall everywhere. And you have this little nice landing spot here. Look at that. that fireplace there I can't wait to go downstairs but right here you have this space you have a lot of space on this bridge compared to some other model homes I've seen um, probably part in the reason why is you don't have a spiraling staircase in this house but it, it kind of bends a little bit kind of gives you a feel of a spiraling staircase but up, the biggest advantage of this is to have all this space here you could have an office here for the kids this is where they can do homework Put a little couch here 
Um, this is more of a study space, and that's a fun space over there. Here's a look to downstairs. We have this really nice staircase with um, wood feel to it. Wow. Okay, so let's check out these bedrooms here. Let's start with this one. And again, these bedrooms are big. You know, they're almost like a master size. And some one stories, they would be acceptable as a master bedroom. Your kids are literally getting a master bedroom. So there's a closet. This one has a bigger closet here and also a linen closet in this bedroom because there is a Jack and Jill bath. Here's a Jack and Jill bath with dual sinks and these really cool um, lights up here that your kids would like. I would show that to them. Here's another bedroom here. This one has three windows. This is the bedroom located in the front of the house. Um, has a great view when you walk out of this bedroom. It, this one feels even bigger, to be honest. Also has a true walk-in closet right here. And also looks like it has a linen closet of its own. So both, both of these kids that share this bathroom here they're gonna have their own linen closet for their bed sheets or whatever they wanna store in there. One thing I'll say about this house, it does not echo a lot, which is great news. All right, we will go downstairs on the next leg of the tour. All right, welcome down. This is the front of the house. Kind of give you a view. I know you had a view, a fast motion view of the, the tour when you walked in with me earlier, but this just gives you an idea. You can see that bridge right there. You know, you can go right underneath it to the back of the house. You don't see the kitchen at all from the front of the house. Right here, we have this extra flex room. There's two flex rooms in this house. This one's more of a study. It has double doors, as you can see here. And it's right next to the bedroom that is downstairs. They have their own walk-in closet right here with a super tall ceiling. Um, you can fit some very tall boxes in there. And this one has its own full bath. That's one thing I love about this plan. You got this bedroom downstairs that has a huge advantage. Let me tell you why. Because this bedroom is excellent for a mother-in-law suite. Because it has its own bathroom and it has its own walk-in closet. Or if you're gonna do Airbnb with your house, you know, help with some extra cash, you have this room that they can walk in right from the front of the house. They have their own area. And then you have the study, which could be a living room for the mother-in-law suite. And there's also a half bath here for everyone who's hanging out downstairs, watching games and stuff. A half bath. Really beautiful here. Look at this. I'm not sure in the inventory homes if they have this, but there should be something similar to this. It's like a rotunda almost here. I don't know what to call it, but here's your flex room. Here's your flex room. Very, very high-end art in here, I have to say. I guess um, somebody is an attorney. But this could be a study right here. It could be a living room. It could be a dining room. Whatever you imagine it to be. And... As we cut underneath the stairs here and the bridge from upstairs, you can see there's some extra cabinets here. There's a coat closet. And right around the corner, that's actually the garage here. We're gonna close the garage door, which is used as an office in this plan. This is the garage and the utility room here. And the one thing about GFO, and many builders are following after this, you're gonna see is from the master closet you can come from the master bedroom to the master bath to the master closet to the laundry room 
and go into your garage. Start the car and leave. You don't even have to go out the long ways because <laughs> quite, quite a bit is a long ways. But from here, you can see the kitchen. This is the pantry right here. Very nice size pantry. But we're gonna go ahead and enter through the traditional way over here in the rotunda. And here's how it just beautifully opens up. Look at the ceiling, it is so tall. <laughs> this is the ceiling that I cannot jump and touch the top of, I'll tell you that. I don't think even NBA, NBA player, professional NBA player that has the highest jumping ratio, I don't know what you want to call it, could even touch the ceiling, it's so high. Look at this living room. Let's go in and take a close look at this fireplace. Here's the view from the living room. This house is amazing. You, you can't go wrong with this. Compare it to other builders, you're not gonna find this. Unless you don't like the super hot, high ceilings here and you prefer something else. That's the only reason why you wouldn't choose this for a million dollars. If you're looking for a home in the million dollar range, I highly recommend you put this on your list. Call me or if you're in another state or somewhere else where they have this plan or another location, take a tour of it. I mean, this, this is something to consider. Huge gas grill right here. There's the hood. Let's check out one of these cabinets. Let's just open it up. There we go. Kind of get a feel of it. Now that's awesome. Look at that. Kids can't slam the cabinets of your million dollar house anymore. That's a great thing. So right here in the living room, I want to point something out. These are glass sliding doors here. We're going to take the door because it's going to just be a whole lot easier. Let's go ahead and go out to your backyard. I think you already are interested in the house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, here's the backyard. It is huge here. I just want to remind you, these are one acre home sites. There's a Kennedy that's available right there. Looks like it's like a north facing house. I would have to take a comfort compass out to verify but here's the back of the home so you can see what it looks like in this huge backyard this is you can do so much with this backyard do so much so many barbecues family gatherings this backyard's fit for a family reunion if you have a huge family like your siblings have several kids and they bring their friends you're gonna have no problem you can have a football field right here football practice after school. There's so much you can do with this. All right, let's go ahead and head into the master bedroom. This is what you've been waiting for. Let's lock the doors here. I don't want it to be my fault that someone comes in through the back door. All right. So here's the master bedroom. Look at this. Now that's an interesting chandelier. Um, that's something I think Lady Gaga would approve of. You have this beautiful cutout space here in the candy plan. It's almost like you could have California king bed in here and then a huge office desk workspace. Some chairs here, just like they have it laid out. Look at this wallpaper. It's like a bunch of tree branches. That's a beautiful wallpaper there. Very neutral, fits in perfect with this house. And of course, what I really want to show you is this master bath, because it is amazing. Look at that ceiling there. If you want it big, you earned it, this is your master bath, I'm telling you. We have two windows here in the middle, kind of goes out. To back here since we are not able to go in the garage um, you can see there is a door from the garage to the backyard so take your chairs and outdoor furniture out that way let's go ahead and step into the shower here 
I'm gonna show you how high the ceiling of this shower is. Uh, is that an alien? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it looks like an alien. Um, it's kind of weird, but we'll pretend it's, we'll face the other way. But anyways, here is the tiled shower. The builders are doing a lot of this gym style showers and giving you a lot of space there. Of course, we have a door for the toilet for privacy and there's the garden tub. Your wife's been asking for a garden tub? There it is, sir. All right. Here is the master closet. It is huge in here. It is big like a Nordstrom dressing room. Some would call it. Plenty of room. As I promised, we're gonna walk out right here. Here's your laundry room, washer and dryer, and extra cabinets for the Tide Pods. And <laughs> you just walk straight out into your kitchen from, from there. I mean, you have so many ways, you're in control here of which way you choose to go in this house. But I'm gonna give you one last look at this. And we're gonna pretend as if we've walked out of the master closet. We're back in under the bridge here in the flex space. And here we are. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour. And it's been great. This is a beautiful plan. I always like giving people tours of these kind of plans. If you're looking to buy a house like this and you don't know what to consider, you don't know what to expect, I'm gonna I call me, I'll be on your side. And let's sign up and get the process started. If this is the right time for you to buy a house, it's all about if this is the right timing. A lot of people are so focused on the market crash or the mar oh, the market's gonna go back up in a couple of years. If this is the right time for you to buy, believe it or not, back in 2007, there's folks out there who bought a house and the next month the value crashed, but the house is still worth more today because they bought at the right time, they still live in it and they love their house. So just remember that. You can never lose if you buy a house at the right time. You buy the one you love and you can afford it and you're gonna live in it for a long time. A house is a long-term investment. A lot of people are thinking like investors that are gonna sell it next year or something. I, I don't know what they're doing. The, those times are over now. So COVID's over. Those times of appreciation are over. Homes will begin to appreciate soon, slowly. So you're gonna need 10 years. So buy the house you like, buy the one that's right for you to live in. That's all I wanna say. Thank you so much. My information's in the description. If you're interested in contacting me, you're looking for an agent that's gonna be straightforward and treat you fairly, contact me. Thank you so much. And I enjoy giving you a video tour of this house, GFO, the Kennedy and Lucas Tech.